What is girl code? This is not a judgment. This is only discussion. But what is it? Hey, this is Artist Annette with Cooking Couture Atlanta. And this is a car confession, honey. Okay. So, I don't listen to the radio. I haven't listened to the radio in years. I, I, I really stopped listening to the radio when Wanda Smith was on B103 because she would frustrate me so much and I would get so upset with her lingo, her dialect, um, her attitude and her perspective. <laughs> and I realized that I should not let anybody get me that upset and I have to be more intentional and careful about what I put into my psyche, my spirit. So it's been years. All right, now you see we on 285 and we just like totally stopped. You finished with this? This little girl was throwing fruit. Anyway. I don't know if traffic running slow enough for me to get her nose, but I turned the um, radio on because I left her in the car while I ran and paid for the gas. And I got back in and Frank Ski and Nina Brown on the radio. So I had like this flashback. I'm thinking I'm listening to V103. I was not. I was listening to 104.1. They were talking about, Nina was talking about a girl code and telling if she see anybody out I'm just wondering is there a girl code and what is the girl code is there a girl code is there honor among women Ooh. I'm like coming to a complete stop on the highway this is crazy is there a girl code do we feel some obligation or some kind of ethical responsibility to tell if you seen your friend or your friend's man or somebody you know out with somebody else, would you tell? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I love women. I love my friends. I love uh, female relationships. I think that they're necessary. Good, healthy ones are I mean, I don't think you could make it without it. I'm a female. How can I make it without female relationships? Okay, so if I seen, I think it just depends on who it is or the whole situation and how it went down. I don't know about all that telling um, because I have been out with people and there was absolutely nothing sexual going on. So I've been out with men and women, and if somebody observed, they might have thought possibly that something was going on. Um, I do, I don't know, I mean, so I'm a little different. I've definitely been out with a lot of men um, as friends, and depending on what lens you're looking through, it may not look like, it may look like more than that to you. I don't want to be limited by a relationship. I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't care if it's marriage. And I can't go out and enjoy people. Period. So I'm not, I wouldn't want someone trying to call themselves telling on me. I just, I don't want that energy. So I'm not going to give it. So if I see somebody, I'm going to speak and everything. I may even ask, who is this? Depending on how close we are. I'm going to find out everything and I'm going to let you do the telling. You tell. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Because if it's not a relationship that I'm in, and if it's a girlfriend or something that I'm cool with, I'll be like, hey girl, I seen David. I seen David out with a friend or something. Some chick. Uh, did he tell you he seen me? You know, in folks business because what you might accept somebody else may not accept and what you might not accept somebody else may think is perfectly fine so I don't know I don't know what girl code means most of my friends are married actually um, um, I ain't got nothing to do with it <laughs> I think everybody 
everybody need to hold it down now if we get into a conversation and you say that I think that he messing around and this and I'm like oh well I see you do it with a lady that look like that you know I don't know I'm, a, I, I'm just I don't know I'm gonna get the information as honestly and sincerely as I can why are you saying this why I want my friends to be happy and I want them to determine their happiness and so if I got a friend that's running around happy but they man cheating they happy so what different maybe him cheating helps make her happy I don't know maybe whatever he doing the other person helping him do that for them. I don't know, I'm just a little bit more open, definitely open-minded about that. So, my girl code is, I'ma support you, I got your back, you my girl. And I am encouraging you and uplifting you, telling you something that might hurt your feelings or distort something, or telling you something that I don't know everything about. in on that program you know what I'm saying see somebody you see me with and you see them with somebody else I don't know my first mind is to tell you keep it to yourself but it's cool you can tell me because I'm gonna process and take it differently when you tell me I'm probably not even gonna say anything if I don't know about it and I'm just gonna wait put it in the roller decks and wait and see but since my happiness is not dependent upon what somebody else does, it's only me. I get to decide how happy I want to be. I get to decide how I receive things, information, and all of that. Nobody else controls my happiness, my peace, my stability. That's me. That's all on me, honey. I make a decision every day to, to be the very best me, to be happy. And so... I don't think it's nothing that you could tell me. You can tell me if you want. That's cool. Because I'm not. It's, yeah. It's, it's not going to change that for me. I'm making, I'm making these decisions every day. And uh, deciding how I want to live. And I definitely know that I have a non-traditional mentality about relationships. Anyway. They were funny. I won't be listening to them anymore. I need to go back to being way more intentional because it's funny and cute, but it's foolish. And I'm trying to build an empire and get my spiritual and mental aligned and everything. So, but that was cute and it was funny. Have an amazingly impressive day. Do something today that you've never done before.